Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Devin Rex for Art here. Welcome to um, my video for the hashtag Makers Creative Collab video hop for August 2022. And the theme for this month is Eclectic Evolution. This won't be a process video, just sort of a, a run through of the project I did. After my video, uh, there'll be links uh, below or over there um, that you can click on to get to the next video in the hop and I encourage you to watch all the videos. I think they're going to be pretty awesome. They're going to be very varied or shall we say eclectic. So most people know what eclectic means. Um, it's got a few definitions. Choosing from various sources, blah blah blah. Um, I'm looking especially at this one. Noting or pertaining to works of architecture, decoration, landscape, produced by a certain person or during a certain period that derive from a wide range of historical styles. That's kind of the definition I use to inspire uh, my project. And um, a lot of inspiration for this project is actually from uh, one source and that source is uh, Dee Dee Willingham. So a lot of you probably know about Dee Dee Willingham. She does a lot of what's called reverse collage. A lot of hers are in books called um, abandoned places, so abandoned castles, abandoned this, abandoned that. Um, I don't have abandoned uh, any abandoned books, but I do have this unforgettable ancient sites. And um, this is where I do um, a lot of my Dee Dee inspired uh, reverse collage. So before I show you what I did, here is how the page uh, started out. So we had a page of Stonehenge. All right. And then what uh, Dee Dee starts, why it's called reverse collage, is you paint out the things that you don't want. I'm going to jump to the end and then we'll go back and look at some of the different steps. And one of the reasons I won't do a process video is uh, really if you want to learn how to do this the right way, I would encourage you to visit uh, Dee Dee's channel. I'll obviously put a link down below, uh, probably for her Abandoned Places um, playlist. Anyway, so here's the final piece that I did, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'll just do kind of a slow uh, zoom in, uh, drive by, if you will. Let's start over I here. I chose um, to put a lot of different style of buildings onto Stonehenge. So that's sort of the eclectic uh, theme that I went with. So I'm just gonna show you just slowly what the finished product looks like in detail. We have some sharks below. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, this probably took me like 15 hours. It takes Dee Dee about two and a half, three hours to do a full, uh, full on collage like this. Uh, it takes me a little bit longer. I'm going to show you the different steps. So. It's not gonna be a process video, just kind of seeing the evolution of this piece. Um, after that, we I glued on uh, the collage elements. Uh, the sharks were kind of the first thing that I had decided on. I had them in this book already ready to go, and I thought, oh, that might be neat to put an eclectic assortment um, above there. Now, on here, you'll notice, in addition to the, um, the elements, a lot of these um, buildings are from travel magazines. Uh, this whoops, this little thing here is on the other side of the shark uh, page. There was these, I don't know what they are, sea anemones or something. Anyway, something from the sea. So that's what I made the uh, cloud with. Uh, this is also eclectic, sort of a different time period from both a lot of the um, elements above and just sort of an industrial thing. So these little pieces here, those are actually uh, from a jelly print. Okay, so that's from a fashion magazine. That was probably the worst section. I had to repaint her a lot because she um, a lot, a lot of, lost a lot of her ink. So I'm just gonna show you the jelly print I use. This is the main one that I used. I was gonna use this fractal as my little pieces of whatnot in there, but then I thought, Let's really make it my own and make my own um, jelly print. So I made a few different jelly prints based on that um, fractal. Ooh. And uh, this is the one that I 
decided to go with. I'll do a process of how I made these jelly prints, just a quick one, and I'll put that up later next week. So there's where we left off. So I've got all the elements there. And then the next step is to add some paint. So here we have the paint added. And it's uh, just craft paint, matte craft paint, because after you've added the paint, you want to add um, colored pencils. So that's how the minimalization's done. Um, just different details are done with the colored pencil. Um, these star shines are with the Posca paint pen. And one of the issues I had doing this collage, I'll show you, I need a collage of my collage. So here you can see the stones, the light source is from the right and the shadow is on the left. But a lot, a lot of the elements I chose, they actually had the reverse. They had uh, light on the left and shadow on the right. Uh, if you can notice, that. especially the uh, windmill here, you can see it's very shadowed there. So as an example, oh, and the chimneys too, you can see how it's white, but really the shading should be the other way. So what I did is I did paint that out to make it more um, cohesive with the direction of the light. So I did a lot of painting, darkening the left side, adding some highlights there and see the um, windmills quite different. From the original one and the turtles a nice little eclectic touch i thought and uh, the water was tricky not gonna lie i'm not an expert at uh, acrylic painting or at painting water but i had a lot of fun oh another thing is the uh, shark i ended up making his fin a lot bigger i don't know if you can see here the difference so here his fin you can see it just kind of goes up to here. So when I put the water, I lost a lot of the fin, so I ended up painting the fin a lot bigger. Yeah, and you might notice I also painted the zebra's reflection in that window. We'll do another little drive-by. Uh, one thing that's hard to see, I was really pleased with this little window here in this rock. I thought that was kind of cool. And I added some grass. So the um, jelly prints provide some sort of mystery and um, intrigue, I think, to the piece. Also, a lot of the ripped edges, they blend better. Uh, most of the buildings, I fussy cut them, and then I didn't really have to blend them in because they were fussy cut, but uh, the um, jelly prints and the this element here, I just ripped it, and that's how you blend it. I liked how the jelly print added to this waterfall and up here, I thought that was pretty cool. And here too, you can see how that jelly print gave the waterfall kind of a mysterious appearance. And there's the girl I had to kind of paint her to revive her a little bit. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. I added a little bit of color to the center of this here. Oh yeah, I added a lot of colored pencil and paint to make these little trees come alive. The, the water was definitely the trickiest uh, for me. If I can do something like this, so can you. I'm not an expert uh, acrylic painter or anything by that means. Um, this is a lot of fun. Obviously you can't really sell something like this um, due to copyright issues. I would think, um, but it's fun from my own personal collection. I will be varnishing this with a um, varnish that Dee Dee recommends. Um, I didn't want to do it before I filmed this video because it does put a little bit of glare on it. So um, yeah, so I have a few other um, pages that I've done. Uh, I have a lot more to do in this book. If you want to see any other uh, reverse collages that I did, uh, I can do a flip through in a future video. Uh, if you want to see uh, how to do this, you know, in action, I would check out Dee Dee Willingham below and give it a try. It's lots of fun. And uh, don't be discouraged if it takes you a long time. This took me, like I said, probably 15 hours. Um, so we're not all going to be pros like Dee Dee, but that's okay. It's just you know, do it and have fun and uh, enjoy yourself. So thanks so much for watching. 
uh, please click on the link, check out the next video, and enjoy the hop. Bye!